About two years ago, Aztec and Vertigo disappeared from Counter-Strike Global Offensive's map pool. Vertigo has returned by now, yet we are still waiting for a remake of Aztec, and I hope we will get one. Until then, we can be held over by remakes of this weird Counter-Strike spin-off, Counter-Strike Online 2. Back when the maps disappeared from Counter-Strike Global Offensive, we took a look at the CSO2 remakes of them. These maps are very interesting for the fact that they are exact copies of the Counter-Strike 1.6 versions, only visually upgraded. The geometry largely remains the same. Unlike the CSGO versions and even CS Source versions, they did not try to upgrade these maps, they tried to stay as close to the original as possible. And here we are in the corridor that has been cut from the uh, CSGO version, that leads up to the CT, uh, the, the T spawn. Um, quite nice that, that they retained it. Generally, the uh, all the remakes from Counter Strike Online 2, they are they are they are remakes of the uh, the 1.6 version and not CS:GO or Source. By now, Counter Strike Online 2 is not playable anymore except for a fan project that tries to revive it, but the official servers have been shut down. So some of the community members have taken it upon themselves to recreate these maps, or better, port these maps over to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. There are still more maps to port, but until now, the list contains a CSO2 version of Inferno, Dust 2 of course, Italy, Aztec, Vertigo, D-Storm, a map that was known back in Counter-Strike 1.6, it was back then rather popular but then has completely disappeared, but also some rather obscure maps, exclusively created by Naxon, like the, this Aquarium map. But also a plethora of deathmatch-focused maps, rather simplistic, but fine I guess. Some of the maps remade by Naxon are not yet in the workshop, but I'm sure they will follow, like one of my favorites, Deep Prodigy. A map that most people are not really aware of, but a map that I still miss, even though it wasn't the best map back then, I still like to play it. And this remake, well, it just looks amazing. Of course, the textures are not as high definition as Counter-Strike Global Offensive maps would be, at least the modern ones, but still it looks pretty to me. You have to keep in mind that Counter-Strike Online 2 was in fact running an older version of the Source engine, comparable to Counter-Strike Source. For such an old engine, it's kind of astonishing what they managed to do. Then in other areas, it looks really flat and like a really early fan project. But Aztec and Vertigo are really nice examples of what they were able to do. The only downside here is that the version that is available in the Steam Workshop isn't done professionally. It seems to be very hastily done and some of these sprites don't work properly, some brushes don't align perfectly, but to get a general impression, it's really nice. It's a challenge to mappers out there to fix it up. To end this video, I would say these maps are definitely worth a look. I will have the links listed in the video description down below. Take a look at them. They are, let's say, a look into a parallel universe where a Counter-Strike Global Offensive would have been simply a modern update visually to 1.6, as all of these maps are just real copies of the original geometry with visual tweaks to it. Hmm, and I guess a good way to end this video would be adding a little gameplay compilation of this crazy mess that I played back when Counter-Strike Online 2 was actually online. Yes, that's how it looked like. And yes, this is really the original soundtrack. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If you like our content and would like to keep up to date with what we're doing, check out our Twitter account and follow us there to see all the stuff we're doing besides making videos. So, have a nice day and as always, goodbye and guten Tag.